most? Um, the, the Jews. The Jews. And the Christians. And the Christians and mm. the evangelicals. Well, they're, they're Christians. Yeah, yeah that's right. Mm. So that's, the Messianics. So that's what's coming. The, yeah. um, the lost tribes are going to be coming out of... You see, they call America Great Satan. Yeah. And they call Israel the Little, little Satan. Satan. So the Great Satan is the ten tribes. The Little Satan to them is the two tribes. Do they know that, do you think? I don't know. Mm. But in any case, the actual many of the blood descendants of the lost tribes are in America. I'm mm. not saying all of America is Ephraim or Manasseh or anything like that. I'm saying that a lot of the lost tribes are there. Mm. And there's some here in Australia and New Zealand and other places. Mm. Maybe some pieces in South Africa. There's a lot of them in there as well. There's a lot of them amongst America and Australia too. And especially in Germany and places like that. Mm. There's a lot of them. Um, you know, so, so we know which tribes different nations come from because... Um, uh, sorry, we know we know what we know some some of the uh, bloodlines because they they're like their father. They yeah. Do the same thing. So mm. you know, if you've got a history of persecuting Israel and um, uh, Bible believers, then you know you're not one of the good guys, are you? But if you've got a history of um, like like parts of some of the Americans, some of the Australians. Uh, have a history of um, supporting mm. Jewish people and supporting um, Bible-related things. That's amazing, especially in the First World War with the uh, wells, wells of Beersheba. That's right. Oh, mm. I actually went to Beersheba. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I paid my respects at every grave of the Anzacs. They were all like 20 years old, 20, 21, yes. 22, 23. Yes. And they died Do in know. the prime of their life. I know. Um, so I'm not saying that they were all saints, but um, there was a lot of them that were uh, carrying A lot of them were, yes. Yeah, carrying That's Bibles right. under their Bible belt. believer. They were from the country. Yeah. You know, and, and farmers often. So there we yeah. see uh, Ephraim supporting Judah. Now, I know mm. that they were doing that in the context of the British Empire and helping the British push the Turks out. But sometimes there's wheels within wheels. And uh, certainly, I believe that there's a lot of the lost tribes there. Well, that's when Britain was still like um, re evangelical and sending I mean, missions out. Well, we're not still we're not one house yet. I no. Mean, the America waited until a lot of the Jews were annihilated before they. So that's there was a lot right. of. Uh, but it wasn't Middle America that was doing. It wasn't the Christians in America. It was really like the um, the leaders. Of it was the Joseph Kennedy. Yeah, and all those. <laughs> Well, all those sorts of guys. Mm. So, um, so in, in, in any case, um, what is best in America? There's, there's still some good things in America and Australia. And what is best in those countries, God's going to bring out. Mm. He's going to put it in one place. So what God's doing through World War One, World War Two, World War Three, is He's gathering the light into one place. Mm. And He's gathering, and all the mm. all the rest of the nations are going to be under Babylon. Yeah, and um, and uh, so that's that's really what's coming. So it's a gathering of the lost tribes, and uh, all the nations are going to see this. He's mm. God's going to do this before all nations, mm. but He's also going to cut the lost tribes down to size. Yeah, because um, no one's above His law, mm. and no one. And um, right. if we can't follow Him, especially in the Yeshua's name, Jesus' name, then we need to do what He says and not be hypocrites. So I look at myself and I go, God help me to mm. be obedient. So that, that's what's coming. Uh, so in, in Australia and we're going to move up out what? of here and into Israel. And it won't be, maybe some go by airplane, but a lot of us will be walking. Oh, for sure. I can't see the airplane thing in there. Yeah. So, uh, um... This will be after devastation. Yeah. Where's my pen? Mm. This will be, where's my pen? Uh, this will be after, I'll put it in red. So after, after or during World War Three. I'll just say after. It's going to have to be a bit of destruction. After World and that's War. Now, the Bible doesn't say World War Three. No, but, no. But it does say, with wrath poured out, I'll regather you. Yes. And as God has regathered the Jews through the pogroms and World War One and Two, 
and the Holocaust and that, so he's going to gather the lost tribes the same way. Because it says in Zephaniah, gather together a nation number love before the fierce day of the Lord come upon you, mm. which is the stuff in Revelation yeah. chapter 4 onwards. Mm. Uh, so before before the day of the Lord, the last seven prophetic years um, in the book of Revelation, he's going to regather the lost tribes with wrath poured out mm. according to Jeremiah and so forth. Right. Yeah. Um, 